so today's topic is you are an unlikely solution hi everyone it's your girl elizabeth and really quickly i'll like to share a couple of things with you guys and i hope this will bless one or two persons out there so two of my favorite underdogs in the bible are david and gideon in the book of Judges, it tells us the story of Gideon and how the Israelites had fallen into disobedience again. And because of their disobedience, God allowed the Midianites to keep raiding their country. Every time, though, it will be close to the season of harvest, the Midianites will come from the mountains and raid the Israelites of everything they had, their food stuff, their livestock. So basically, they were living in fear. Eventually, they ended up having to cry out to God for help because, I mean, who else was going to come to their rescue, right? God God decided that Gideon the underdog was the perfect person to save the Israelites from the Midian. He was from the weakest clan and he was considered the least in his father's house. Even Gideon saw himself as a nobody, as nothing, as somebody who was unqualified. Of all the people here, why would God choose me? He was also on his own and then an angel appeared to him and was even greeting him almighty man of valor i'm sure even gideon was like is he talking to me because even he himself saw himself as not qualified the truth is god sees our potentials even when we don't god sees our abilities even when we don't because he created every part of us every vein every fiber so he knows the greatness that he put in us and there's one of my videos where i said that don't forget that the first thing god gave us was an image you're the daughter and the son of the god who is capable of everything god sees your greatness even when it seems like you are never going to amount to anything somebody that everyone can write off in a society god can decide to pick up that person and activate the potential that he knows that he put into that person god can use anybody to be a solution in our world through the story of gideon i'm reminding you that you are an unlikely solution and the key to your potential lies in god every time you want to feel hopeless about your accomplishments or how far you've come or who you are remember that god sees the greatness in you and you can be all that he has predestined you to be david the super shepherd david was chosen as the second king of israel by god but he did not look like it he was just a shepherd he was the eighth son of jesse when samuel went to david's house as instructed by god to anoint the next king after Saul, samuel tried to anoint the first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh son it was not possible because god kept saying not this one not this one not this one guess who the qualified one became the one who was outside tending to the ships the one everyone did not think would qualify to be anointed king even his father did not think to call in david david was outside what god has predestined each of his creation each of his children to be sometimes we as spirits we need to specially go to god in prayer and ask god not to be enemies against our children's destiny when the servant of god came to anoint the next king his father did not even think to call him in i seem like your life is not going to amount to anything gideon himself he didn't even believe that he was qualified that didn't change god's mind it doesn't matter what you think about yourself it doesn't matter the fact that you might not see the greatness that you carry god sees it and the fact that you're yet to believe it isn't going to change God's mind. Where you are now may just be prepping you for a great future. I know sometimes you tend to get discouraged. You lose faith in yourself and sometimes in God. If you're tired of turning to ships like I'm sure David was. While it seems like other people are getting ahead, other people are doing important things in the world. I just want to tell you not to lose faith in your abilities and your potentials don't lose faith in who you know you can be so the philistines were taunting the israelites and they had this big giant called goliath who was taunting them guess their solution david the shepherd it was david the unqualified do you still doubt your abilities why do you think you need what others have to become great all you need to become a solution and to unlock your potential is already within and around you yes an underdog a shepherd boy 
now turned a giant slayer through God. You are a solution waiting to happen and your key lies within God. In conclusion, it's not about who you are or who you think you're not. It's about whose you are. I just want to let you know that nobody will see you coming. Nobody will expect the solutions that can come from you. What you look like now is temporary. Where you are now is temporary. I want you to not give up. Just start again. Get back up because you're so much more. And like David, like Gideon, you might seem like the underdog, but I definitely believe and have faith in your potentials and have faith that as long as you're still here, God has great things in store for you and great big things to do through you. I hope this blesses one or two persons out there. Please don't forget to share because this might encourage one or two persons and this might bless, bless somebody. Thank you guys and have a great rest of the week. Bye.